Good day. Today I am continuing to uh, work on converting an Elm, Elm app to uh, Gleam and Lustre. Uh, we got to yesterday where I was starting to flesh out a couple of tests, um, well, a test so far, um, to try and get the init function um, in a place where I can test it. So the init at the moment um, takes some flags. We've just got the example counter app. Uh, let's show you that. So that's this is what we've got. Uh, we've got a clean app running in a WordPress widget. Um, so now I want to start putting in some little tests so that I can get to the point where I can flesh it out to this. Uh, which is what Crompix used to look like. So we have, I left off last, last time, having to make these public. Uh, so public init and a public model, because I want to test the init function um, and it can't produce a, a model, which isn't public apparently. And the same thing happened for the message as well. So that's a little bit strange. So I want to just double check that I did the right thing there. Um, if I look at, oh, no. oh, I haven't got it open, of course. I need to open Let's think I need to open source test UI test. I should only one far there. But this is what I did yesterday. Just a quick test. Um, calling UI in it with zero and making sure that I get back the same model with a count of zero, um, but no effect. Nothing's going to happen afterwards. Um, but I wonder whether I really, 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 really do need to have everything public to test it or whether there's some sort of little bit of magic that happens. So I'm just going to quickly test that. We shall switch this. And I'm just going to take out that that. Uh, where's the message there is? That. And we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to put all those back. But yeah, okay. So we can't see it. That's a shame. It feels strange to have everything public there. I wonder. When I was looking yesterday at, what was I looking at? I was looking at clean docs writing green. When it got to testing, ah no, it wasn't testing. Oh yeah, well, was, that's what I was looking at. Um, they were using an internal so that where is it? Yeah, so they had a public internal so that they could test it. But it wouldn't be exposed to the outside world in normal usage. So can I do that? Can I move things around a little bit? So 
So I could basically just have main at the package name and then put everything internal because there's nothing at the moment that I'd want to expose. I wonder if it makes any difference seeing as it's just an app. It's not going to be a library. Okay, let's test this. Um, what should we do here? What we'll do, all right, so we've got everything effectively private at the moment, apart from the main. And if I, if I build that now, oh, testing the tests. Hmm. Okay. Let's put everything back and double check what I was going to look at there. I'm going to see whether these things get exported or not. Nope. Did not mean to do that. Uh, right. Right, that should have worked. Um, okay, quick, make sure I haven't broken anything. Because I really don't have enough tests in there yet. Okay, so that still works. Now let's have a look at that JavaScript. See if it's done any exports or anything. Source JS UI. Let's have a look for, I mean, I don't think it'll have that in it. In it. Huh. Oh, that is okay. So it's exporting all the message type, well, message types, I guess, uh, the model itself and in it, along with main. I don't think I want that. Even in the JavaScript. I think I'd rather that all you could do is kick it off and not mess about with um, the other stuff there. It seemed to, that would just kind of pollute things, I think. Yeah, okay. So I need um, let's move that over there. Okay, so I want to redo that. So now it breaks. Um,
now I need to explore a few things. So, source UI, source. At the moment, we have UI.gleam. I am going to want to do an internal. It said I could do an internal directory or no internal module. So internal dot gleam basically. Or I could do a directory with internal elements. I had a little play with Gleam a while back. What did I, didn't I do? Let's have a look. Yes. Right, okay, and that's what I did. I used a directory so that I could name it. That might be handy because in this Elm code, oh, yeah. Let's go back here because I'm going to want to be there in a minute. Uh, duh, duh, duh. There's a bunch of stuff I'm going to have to do. And I might end up, so I'm not sure. Well, there probably is. But I am using a couple of libraries here. Obviously, JSON stuff. But time as well, which helps to format date times and things for display. And I don't know whether there's stuff for that available or not. Presumably there is, but we will have to see. So I might end up by the end of this having to make a library or maybe two. So maybe I should plan on keeping things internal as, as much as possible, but be careful not to paint myself into a corner so that I can't just, you know, push out a little library if it's helpful. Although I don't really think I'll end up doing a library. Okay. Right. Let's just make sure things are internal. So create an internal directory. Um, and Again, from here, but this time, we'll also create Hmm. 
What should we call it? I wonder if I can get away with just UI. Would that get a bit confusing? That might <laughs> is my big, big mistake. Because <laughs> then you'd have internal UI and UI. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just call it um just call it cool for the moment. We can always change that. Okay. So I want to take everything here and move it here I'll need I need all of that. I could probably de delete those from here. We'll see in a minute. Now I can make these public again so they can be tested. I'll leave these for the moment. I don't know whether I'll, not, I'll be testing them or not. We'll see. Um, so we have everything there okay. I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh. I might end up having to make them public as well. That's a pain. All right. Yeah, this might be a bad idea. This might be going one step too far. Yeah, look. Yeah, maybe I'm being silly here. Yeah. This is going too far. I don't need to do this. Instead, what I should be doing, instead of testing in it directly, I should test what it does inside because it's not going to do everything 
without using decoders and stuff, because that's the issue. I need to use a JSON decoder to park, because I'm going to have to pass in a an object with a bunch of like strings and um, initial schedule to be decoded and displayed. So just like I do already, yeah. No, okay, I'm doing it wrong. Let's get everything back. <laughs> uh, wish I'd done version control. Um, it's just too early in the days. Right, uh, so just take that. Um, and I think it's just everything from then on, isn't it? We'll take out these publics. Yeah. There's nothing else left in here, is there? No. Go to that now. Let's create a function. Uh, we'll call it um, decode flags. I'm still going to end up, no, I have to be very careful here. All right. So we're going to take some flags. Um, at the moment, we'll just do int. Um, and see, this is the thing. It's going to produce a model and that's going to want to be public if I make this decode flags public. Hmm. That's annoying. Okay. 
I want to try this. So at the moment, all it does is return um, model flags. So I can just call that here. Yeah, I'm going to have the same issue. I will have to make it public, I think. And that sort of undoes everything I've just done. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. So it's no longer going to be And then the model's probably going to have to go public as well. Hmm. It's a little bit awkward, that. I'm also doing something wrong here though. I can't believe everyone's having all this stuff exported. Maybe they don't care. Maybe it's not an issue. So that's going to tell me that model needs to be public. Yeah. So we're almost back to square one again. Passes though. Hmm. Okay. Right. Well, I'm not using core anymore, so I can get rid of that. And that's fine.
give it a quick test. Still works. That's good. Okay. Hmm. Not sure what I how I feel about that. That's a little bit weird having. So I presumably, if I look at. Um, JS Yeah. So the model and decode flags are now exposed. Hmm. It might be that maybe in the future, once we have a significantly more complex model, that I'll be decoding small parts of it, and I can just test those decoders rather than the entire decode of flags. So that would be nice to have it say, I guess it is a public interface in a way, but not the model. Hmm. And that's what it actually is. It's a class. Who knows? Maybe it'd be useful. Hmm. Okay. Right, well, I am rapidly running out of time, so I'm not really going to be able to get much further. I'll probably just keep, keep this one short. Just a little exp exploration of uh, internal versus public. So, my to do is really moved down here now. Okay. Okay. I think uh, that I'll have to do for today. Um, so uh, until next time, thanks for watching. You take care.